purpose of this lesson is to introduce you to Agile as a project management approach and Scrum as an Agile method. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to define what both Agile and Scrum is. You'll be able to articulate the benefits of being Agile. You'll be familiar with the Agile Manifesto and its supporting 12 guiding principles. Also, you'll understand the concept of continuous improvement within the context of Scrum adoption. There are two main approaches to managing projects. There is the waterfall approach and the agile approach. We'll talk more about the waterfall approach later in the workshop, but to summarize, it involves big planning upfront in order to determine the detailed scope of the project and establish the project's performance baselines. Once executing begins, actual results are compared to the baselines in order to determine the health of the project. The Agile approach is for projects that are more complex and uncertain. In Agile, there is no heavy detailed planning up front. Rather, an Agile project evolves as short increments are completed. One of the thought leaders in the Agile world, Scott Ambler, defines Agile this way. Quote, Agile is an iterative and incremental evolutionary approach to project development, which is performed in a highly collaborative manner by self-organizing teams with just enough ceremony that produces high quality software in a cost effective and timely manner, which meets the changing needs of its stakeholders. Close quote. Agile is a family of lightweight, quality driven approaches to software development which evolved in the late 1990s in response to the burden of heavy documentation and frequent change. In February 2001, 17 leading developers signed the Agile Manifesto. The Agile Manifesto is a foundational document for all Agile methods. And it reads like this, quote, we are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it. Through this work, we have come to value individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. That is, while there is value in the items on the right, we value the items on the left more." Close quote. Let's take a look at the four main points in the manifesto. One, individuals and interactions over processes and tools. While processes and tools are necessary, the emphasis is on individuals and the interactions between them. Two, working software over comprehensive documentation. Documentation does not demonstrate progress or value. Therefore, the emphasis is on working software. Three, customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Rather than creating a detailed statement of work and then negotiating contracts, developers and customers should collaborate in order to progressively determine the requirements of the project. Four, responding to change over following a plan. Rather than being constrained by an original plan, developers should embrace change in order to meet the dynamic needs of the customer. There are also 12 guiding principles that support the Agile Manifesto. Let's go over each of them. One, our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Two, welcome changing requirements even late in development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. Three, deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with a preference to the shorter time scale. Four, Business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Five, build projects around motivated individuals. Give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. Six, the most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Seven, working software is the primary measure of progress. Eight, agile processes promote sustainable development. The sponsors, developers, and users 
should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Nine, continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility. 10, simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential. 11, the best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. And 12, at regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. In 1986, Scrum was first introduced by Hirotaka Takuchi and Aikujiro Nonaka. They described it as a new approach to commercial product development that would increase speed and flexibility. They actually called it the rugby approach. And then in the early 1990s, this method was first referred to using the single word Scrum. Scrum is a proven agile software development method providing significant benefits over the traditional waterfall approach. For example, higher productivity and lower development costs. This is accomplished by reducing waste and irregularities by only developing what is absolutely essential for the customer. Improved customer satisfaction. Collaboration between the developers and the customer results in clarity about what is to be developed and the ability to respond to changing needs and priorities, which leads to actually delivering the value the customer wants. Higher quality software. Using techniques like test-driven development, continuous integration, acceptance test-driven development, and refactoring can lead to nearly defect-free software improved employee engagement and job satisfaction. By empowering a team to be self-organizing, the team is able to determine how it is going to deliver the value to the customer and establish a sustainable pace forever. Faster time to market and early ROI. By incrementally delivering value or working software to the customer in short iterations, Working software can be deployed sooner and the customer can realize early return on investment. Scrum is now the leading agile method with more than 50% of agile projects using Scrum. Features that make Scrum so popular include, it offers simplicity and proven results. It encompasses other agile engineering techniques. It emphasizes small teams and team empowerment. It welcomes changes to requirements. It allows working from a single source of prioritized work items. It includes daily status meetings. It offers team commitment to potentially shippable software at the end of each sprint. This chart illustrates how agile methods deliver value faster. In the traditional approach, the chart on the right, you can see that the customer has to wait until the end of the project for the delivery of the working software and the realization of return on investment. Scrum delivers value or working software at the end of each sprint. Looking at the chart on the left, you can see how value is delivered clearly and incrementally from the very beginning of the project. Adopting Scrum can be an effort that takes some time. There is likely to be some organizational gravity that resists the adoption of Scrum. So it's going to be helpful to be able to definitively answer some key questions like, has the investment in Scrum paid off? What is our next area of improvement? Should we continue with Scrum? Are we better off than before? Are we producing better products? Do our products have fewer defects? Are we able to ship faster than before? The answers to these questions do not need to be necessarily arrived at through a precise or scientific effort. However, testing and measuring the results of any effort is necessary to discover whether or not we've been successful. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.